Right, just back on our project in Hordle, um, just installing sandstone. Um, so I just wanted to give a little run through on the fencing, on how we did it. We started off by removing the entire fence along behind me, the existing. We then set up our corner posts, one there and one over there. We set up our corner posts and if you look on the, we're a little bit higher than the actual top of the post here. So what we did, we measured five foot from that point. I think it was somewhere around here. So five foot down. We marked those on all our posts. So again, going back to, we put our two corners in with our five foot line in. Now we used a laser level to just make sure that that end was the same height as that end. Those were then concreted into place using a five and one ballast and cement mix left to set overnight. Once our two corners are in, we then can set a string line on our five foot mark the whole way across the whole way across our entire stretch. Now that string line will obviously be straight across the entire fencing. That basically marks the top of our gravel boards down here. Um, and then once we've got a string line in, it gives us our line and obviously our level. So then each post is then concreted into place using our line as a marker for height and plumb. Concrete all our posts into place. You then set your gravel boards in. You then connect your arras rails. As I said before, we overlap these. Cutting 11 centimetres across, because that's the thickness of the post. Three centimetres down, because that's half the width of the beveled rail. Once all of those are overlapped and bolted on, using 200 mil bolts, could have got away with 150. Make sure all our bevel rails are on. And then our gravel boards. And then you just fire away all your feather edge petals. Obviously you set your first one in at level, nail that in. And what we use is create a spacer, which is 100 mil. And we just use that on each pail, just using a spacer to make sure your, your gap, you obviously butt it up against there. And you just know your gap is 100 mil each time with your spacer. But every now and again, you want to check it with a level. Yeah, that's how we did it. And then obviously just fitted the gate.